Okay. She just like the mafia. Glass with this, they go for rounds. Don't care if she popular. What matters if she hold me down? And them panties lavender. That pussy pink and pretty brown. He did all that for the gram. Ain't see a nurse did on arrival. Hop up off the push, I look both ways, but I still crash. Out of camera on the corner, your last day you getting trash. Understand these bitches poison. I don't wanna love again. Welcome from Hostile Sundays. We got SGE cash in the hey, back. I ain't here with a nigga. You feel me? I see cash in here. I start Sundays. I already tapped, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on with you? I EP drop machine. I'm always written, bro. You feel me? Shit like that. <laughs> that was lighting up, bro. All right, hot shit for y'all. So for everybody, you know, uh, it's the first time tuning in to you. Uh huh. What? Uh, let them know, you know, where you from. A little bit about it. Man, I'm from, I'm from Southeast Baltimore, bro. I'm from down the hill, bro. You feel me? Shit. I, I'm rapping and shit. <laughs> I, I, I ain't see myself as a rap. You feel me? I just spent a lot of time as a young nigga. I ain't really knew my purpose and shit. You feel me? How old are you? I'm 19, bro. Okay. Only 19 for real. So what really, like... What made you really start rapping now? Started treating that shit like therapy, bro. Shit, bro. It was really, it was really therapeutic, bro. Just life, shit got real. Shit was, bro, shit been real, you feel me? Before I even knew, you feel me? It be like that, you know? But as I got old enough to understand and shit, and then, like, I didn't have some ups and downs in life, bro. I just really locked in, bro. Like, I used to I used to try to fuck with the basketball shit, but my dumb ass wine ain't doing good in the school. <laughs> you feel me? I had a little shot, but shit, I was my head was always everywhere I was, bro. You feel me? You feel like you feel like your environment was a distraction, maybe? Not a distraction. This shit made me, bro. Right. Uh, this shit made me even spit this shit I can talk about now, bro. Said, I say, grab the Glock before a bus pass and said, fuck the NTA. Niggas popping shots up in them stool, it was like it's GTA. Pasta slaying dope, was born in tortoise, it's in his DNA. Bros and chains, I did my thing. My mama sing Amazing Grace. You feel me? That pain in there, bro. Yeah, just to be able to be right here right now, that's what got me here, bro. I feel like with me, and that's what anything. Like, that shit, the music shit made me turn the bad to good, bro. That shit just helped me turn the bad to good, you feel me? Shit, I'm going through, I made that shit sound beautiful. You feel me? And now, how long have you been rapping for? Shit, I've been, shit, I'm really new for real, for real. Like, my first, like, official drop, for real, for real. Trust issues, shit. That was, like, what that was, 2019, late 2019. You feel me, going on 2020 and shit. But, but like since like little I've been like I've been like freestyling this shit. You know how that be you in a crib and shit, you beating on the wall, freestyling this shit, at the lunch table, rapping and shit, you feel me? Little slip with the words, I peep that quick. So But now you got like you got songs with two C, you got mm -hmm. songs with Lil Papa, like mm -hmm. he's a big name artist, so like how'd you how'd you take it to the next level? Yeah. Um like, again like I dropped when I dropped Trust Issues, that really made me take this shit to the next level, cause again, like I used to play with this shit for real. I knew I had them, but I'm not thinking I'm rap or no shit like that. I don't know. Like I always love music, you feel me? Uh yeah, bro, I dropped Trust Issues, bro. That shit went crazy, bro, into that shit in the uh World Song Contest. That shit won. For real, and that was really like a, a deep song for real. Trust issues, I was speaking on the pain for real, all that. So, when I found out, like, oh, uh, yeah, they hear me, you feel me? And they really failing it. When I got motherfuckers coming to me and my mother, like, yo, bro, you know I listen to your shit every day, bro. Your shit get me through, bro. Nigga, stop me to tell me that, bro. You feel me? And I see how that shit, like, affect people. I feel like I gotta keep going. And then my loved ones calling me, really loving that shit. Told me keep going, bro. In my head, like shit, like bro, nobody fuck with you. <laughs> so I'm that's just how I'm okay. You feel me? I'm just keep topping myself. So I want you to tell us like how'd you even like cause a lot of artists out here just make music with either just each other locally or maybe mm -hmm. DJ 
DC, you actually reached out with Beyond. Yeah. How, take us through that process. How did you actually get to that? All right, so, you know, in a home, you feel me? I was grinding, you feel me? Just making hella songs. But then, you know, bro, saying, bro, my mind's brand. My shout out Big B, you feel me? We 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 came together. We became an indie for real, and and it's fair for me. We we started going out. You feel me? Not working, nothing for real. I'm hollering niggas. They fucking with me. You feel me? I just I treat it, I treat the A like the home. Really, I treat the A like the second home for real, for real. So I lay holler different places, just not working connections for real. Just hollering at people, and said, "This is you get the business done for real." Um. Also, I was under a label that also helped for real to brighten and then farther than the city. You feel me? And that's what they they used to tell me and said for real. And all right, so I want to get into your name a little. What's SG stand for? I don't keep it a butt with uh. I don't keep it a whole butt with uh. Look, my EP coming out called Valley. I'm ch I'm changing my shit soon. I'm saying my shit when we cast Valley, but look. As G, that shit deep though. It come from a deep place for real, for real. Man, my brother, shout out to my man's cat, bro. My motherfucking brother, blood brother. And we started as G shit. We yeah, started some, you know, shit was going on. Deep band, deep you feel me? But like, it's really on some soldier shit. Like we always like that's how we always carry shit on some soldier shit. Militant mind, all that. So soldier gang in the time for real, for real. Even though I don't know gang shit, we just riding up. You feel me? Got tired and all that, but. You feel me? Yeah, though. We just rotting out. That's where SG come from. SGK. I'm cash. You feel me? Put that together. Just that was me. You feel me? That shit just on me. You feel me? Even though I'ma uh, change my name, even though I uh, let that shit stand on me. You feel me? I said yeah, to me. You also got this valley. You know. Yeah. Talk, explain that. That's, What's that? Valley come from uh, Cash of Valley. Cash of Valley come from uh, inspiration of my Matt of Valley. Two parts of like how yo, he used. I feel like he used this. Mu he felt he used this music to be like the voice of people around him and and like his situation, his vibe, and what's going on with him. You feel me? Expressing himself through his music, turning his therapy to art for real. Matt Valley, see that? I see. I see me and him. Castle Valley, feel me? My niggas call me. My niggas call me Valley. They feel me? They call me Castle Valley. And they shot that shit the Valley. So oh, man, it's too. Uh, we really the first one that said Valley and Caps, and I just thought with you feel me, and now it's deep in the net for real. Like Valley to me is more than just you feel me, and that name is really like my like I see like my inner stuff for real. You feel me? Yeah. And now, do you feel like do you feel like you have went through you know any difficult moments in your career? Get where you are. Recently, bro, like, see, I felt like when I was really going through my ups, that's when the lows started really happening, bro. Like, I got into a, like, a situation for real, for real, you feel me? That I couldn't, I basically, I, felt I was held back, you feel me? I couldn't, it was like a whole, almost a year period that I couldn't really drop, for real. And, yeah, that shit fucked me up. But that's just man, fuck it. I got that's I got time, bro. I said I'm grinding, my name. Like I'm coming harder than before, harder than ever niggas ever seen it, my name. Real shit. It's a whole now. It's a whole stop. This bitch. You feel, you feel good like where your career is take going to right now? Man, there's more to come. I ain't gonna lie. Like I see like a lot of shit. Right, my motherfuckers in the city probably want doing as far as numbers and that. But bro, I'm never can be never be satisfied, bro. Like, I'm always working, bro. Like, I'm never satisfied, bro. Until they, I know, I know what I want for myself. Until my name up there with them motherfuckers, when you go to take, oh yeah, the best did it. I ain't satisfied yet. You feel me? I'm just 19, so that shit damn sure ain't stopping. You feel me? I'm just learning, bro. Nigga, like me, always gonna learn. I'ma turn the good to bad, always, bro. Always, whatever it is. So you got a favorite studio that you go to all the time? Right? Shit, shit, at home for real, for real, really. You feel me? Bye, know. But shout out, uh, shout out my man's kid, bro. Um, at the studio, I forgot that shit called. He ain't never tell me, but yeah, my man's kid. Shit, shout out them. Uh, 
Shit, yo, let me shout out my man's Nick, bro. That's where I really st I started my man's form on Nick, bro, down Bel Air Road, bro. I used to, uh, and that's when I was living over, that's when I was living over, I ain't even find Joe when I was living over East. I found Joe when I was living over West, man. I used to hop on a paint all the way down there, you know, that stop walk all the way down the knee, shit, just to hit the booth, you feel me? My, my, my man's hat, that shit, what, $10, bro, for, for an hour a session, bro? Niggas don't be having that. And then that shit really good, my nigga, I swear to God, that shit really hard, too. Yeah, so shout out my man's Nick, who's still going, bro. Shout out, bro, he really just raised his prices a little bit now, but still, shout out my man's Nick, bro. I recorded hella songs there. Shit, one of my hottest songs I got out right now with the highest views, Drippy. Recorded that at Nick shit, bro. Shout out Nick, bro. Real shit. Going on Nick. And now I know you got, I know all, to, all together you got over 1.4 million views on YouTube. Oh, yeah. So, like, how's that feel knowing that you're actually reaching, you know, Different numbers than most people. Shit, I mean, bro. It feel, I mean, I I love it. You feel me? And it, it's always feel good to be heard for real. But it just motivate me more than anything. Like, I mean, I need I need the world. I need the world for real. Like, and a lot of numbers. But I know if I get stuck in the numbers, I ain't gonna grow. You feel me? If I'm like, oh yeah, I'm doing. It, I'm. You feel me? I can't pay it no mind. Like. Say, damn, one point. I, I just, you just really made me like realize that for real. Like, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, though. I can't just stay on. I'm trying to get a bill. I see niggas out. This bitch going crazy. <laughs> All right. And like, so like, if you could like, I want to say like, open it up for one of your favorite artists. Like, who would it be and why? Damn. Uh, shit. I, I ain't really lie. Shit, probably meat. Mm -hmm. Meat, man, shit. Meat, because you always another inspiration for real, for real. Like, young nigga. I used to listen to meat. I still listen to meat. Bump the shit out of meat. That was another, that was a nigga that, that was, I was looking up to for real, for real when it came to that shit. I seen bro Nate be braised, rally rap, and really cutting for real, really. Telling niggas stories for real. Well, he telling his story, but like nigga could fail it. You feel me? I'm like, shit, bro, you made me want go crazy. You feel like, I don't know, is there any more? Who else, like, who else inspired you to make it? Yo, shout out. Uh, I'm from over East Baltimore, so first moves, for real, for real. But you feel with that being said, also got guns. I was schooled. I said that shit in the other music, but other music. I said other music video, other interview and shit. But um, was schooled at for real. They really inspired me. But outside of that too, of course, of course them. Wayne, Wayne, my favorite album all the time. Like you feel me? I don't care. No nigga can't tell me Wayne ain't the hardest. Wayne the hardest. You the best I ever touched the mic. And everything else, cause like I said, I got some more more to come for real, for real. And Michael, Michael Jackson, my another big inspiration, bro. Yo, man, I only got to see too much. <laughs> if you really listen to me, you probably feel like I really, uh, really like that nigga bring that energy up. Like if a nigga, if a nigga listens to my shit, I want to get to the point where the way I feel about Mike, that's how a nigga feel about me here and that shit. You feel me? Like. It was just unmatched energy, unmatched performance on track, unmatched. Crazy, he got hits for fuck. Hey, he pimp on that nigga face, bro. He got hits. And he set him out. He got hits, bro. Yeah, bro. He really inspired me. That's why I'm with my cat. Look, look like that shit timeless, bro. I could, I'm gonna play my son some fucking Michael Jackson. Timeless, bro. Okay, okay. And now I know you said you're from East Baltimore, right? Hell yeah. Okay, so like, if there's one thing, I mean, I know there's a lot. Do, but if there's one thing you could do to change, you know, the city, especially the inner city, what would you, you know, what would you do? Niggas be, niggas be in competition with each other. That's, niggas be in so much competition with each other. Rapper beyond music, street set, niggas gritty, nigga really sneak you, nigga back door you for real, for real. Nigga don't, nigga just, niggas just be, niggas be in competition, bro. Like, nigga want a nigga went to a certain extent. Nigga don't want you better than them, but as long as you under them, you good. You feel me? Just see, stop, we gotta stop that competition shit, bro. If I see a nigga doing 
battle or on his way to be, and I'm, bro, I'm saluting that shit. I want niggas to win, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, niggas don't know who the fuck we is. We's really an unidentified city for real. Like, we just now getting on a little buzz, you feel me? Shout out niggas from here doing the thing, all that for real. He really not really known like how we supposed to be known. I feel like we up there with niggas for real when it comes to this music shit. You feel me? We really an underground city. We just underrated as a bitch. We underdoes, but we like it like that. Why you think we're, you know, still underdoes a little bit? Because we just now starting to fuck with each other a little bit on the music set. Like, we not even, you feel me? You know them other niggas be having. Bro, New York niggas had like 40 niggas on a song, bro. They be working with each other. They be pushing each other, showing love to each other. Line and if you already know how that go, we don't, we don't even fuck with each other, bro. <laughs> Real shit, bro. Like, y'all fire that all the time, but it's really true. Like, we don't be fucking with each other. You feel me? But some shit be inevitable. Shit, some shit be even deeper. You feel me? At the end of the day, it's still Baltimore City. Niggas is getting their shit smacked. And it be for reasons. You feel me? So, I ain't blame it. But, you know. Get this money. <laughs> Let's get money. Let's go crazy. I show these niggas, bro. You feel like there's anything you could like help provide to the community a little bit, maybe to help them? Shit, I be doing a little like giveaways and shit, but that's for the kids and shit. But like, I don't know. I mean, so my man's black. I remember. We, I don't remember what club we was at, but it was a bunch of rappers, bunch of influencers, bunch of people in that city. You feel me? They got shit going on. We was all sitting in there, you know, we was all talking about shit like this. Shout out Black. Shout out all them. I, I'd be crazy if I knew all them names on top of the head. But yeah, yo. Shout out them. Like, little shit like that. Bring us the gavel for real. Bring us the gavel on some bullshit. I know how to do it, though. Yeah, because shit be crazy. And, like, if there's any advice, you know, you can give to, like, an upcoming artist, what would you tell them? Fuck everything. Do you. Fuck everything, fuck what a nigga got to see, fuck with it. It's got to see, fuck with it. Your family got to see, fuck all that, bro. Do you, you my nigga, do what's best for you. But if you got some motherfuckers you really love, and listen to them, you feel me? But even that to a certain extent, really do you, know what's best for you. But don't fuck yourself up. But yeah. Hey, yeah, don't let loyalty be a fool, make you a fool. <laughs> Real shit. And I, I noticed you got the uh, you got the stock market on. Oh yeah, shout out Bob, man. Shout out stock market. You what's feel your me? Favorite, what's your favorite uh, Baltimore you know brand? Shout out all them names, bro. I really you feel me? I got off to uh, I don't why stock market. Uh, damn. Oh, anti so bro, my man's deal up and coming, bro. My man's hard as a bitch. I'm surprised I don't got that shit on now, bro. Real shit. Uh, anti-social tap, man. Y'all got, I got, I'm going to send the fuck information. I want y'all to put my mans in the discussion. Yeah, so I don't anti-social, uh, bro. Y'all got that hard ass shit. Anything y'all want, man. Yeah. Uh, you got any, like, do you have any upcoming business plans or ideas you got? Definitely uh, some Love Valley merch. Uh, getting more into that, uh, getting to the valley, valley, you feel me? And, like, me, you feel me? Definitely merch. So tag along with that for real. An EP dropping soon. And, you know, merch for real. I know you said you got the merch, you got the EP dropping soon. Mm -hmm. Any other projects or anything else you want to let us know that you got coming up? Uh, shit. I think I got, bro, I got hella music, bro. Like, it's so much music, bro. Just. Stay tuned, bro. Like, shit, you never know, bro. Just stay tuned, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You just gotta watch this. A nigga like me might drop some shit out of nowhere, bro. Like, you feel me? Guy got some features coming. Like, you never know. But I'd be a damn fool if I spoil it all. You feel me? Y'all got really tap me. I see who really fuck with me. Yeah, I don't want none of that hype shit. Who really fuck with me? I ain't saying shit. If you gonna know who was on Catch Belly song. Yeah, tap me, man. Look, every time I drop. Shout out High Style, yeah. Uh, Y'all heard it first, tap in with Mans, S-E Cash. That's good. You know, what's going on? We got Laboka on the table when you say I tech definitely got, man, look. Get y'all some of that shit. Yeah. yeah. Y'all might make y'all baby, but fuck it. <laughs> Get that shit. Appreciate you coming through, man. Alrighty, you know, yeah. Cause I was gone, the niggas out of y'all. I'm
us pipes if you let it be. So I don't even think twice, I can't let you live. I don't know how I feel. I just know if I live today, then I die real. They probably red, but you can look in my eyes still. They probably scared, that's why they don't come outside for real. Seeking you shall find, I've been trying, but they hide. I'm sick on nothing, I don't know. Cause that's like blind leading the blind. Last letter to little bro, I'ma see you when it's time.